These cannons needed to be lashed to the deck because when they threw a cannonball forward, the cannonball threw the cannon backwards. And that stopped the cannon from rolling all around the deck and doing damage to the crew. But hang on a minute, the ball, when it hits into the enemy ship, will smash its way through the side. But this cannon doesn't do any damage to the actual ship it's on. So this is a really good example of Newton's third law, the law of conservation of momentum. But it's also a really good example of something different. That momentum is very different from kinetic energy. It's a good example of the difference between these two quantities. We're going to use another historical weapon to actually demonstrate this. I found out some data about it. I found out the mass of the rifle, was the Baker rifle, was about 4 kilograms. And the mass of the bullet that the, the rifle threw is about 0 0.025 kilograms. And the muzzle velocity was 300 meters per second. Now, firstly, I'm going to use the law of conservation of momentum to calculate the velocity with which the rifle recoils. I showed you this little sh shortcut in a previous video. All we have to do is input the numbers in the correct places and we'll end up with an equation with only one unknown. You just need to make sure that it is the mass and the velocity of the same object that's either side of the equation and apart from that it doesn't matter which side of the equation you use. I'm going to use these two as my 1, the, the bullet data, as my 1. So the mass of the bullet, 0 0.025 times the velocity of the bullet, 300, is equal to the mass of the rifle, M2, which is 4, times by the velocity the rifle is moving. Well, rearrange that, <coughs> excuse me, for V gives me 0 0.025 times 300 divided by 4 equals V. Go for the calculator now. 0 0.025 times 300 divided by 4. 1.875. meters per second. So the rifle recoils at near enough 1.9 meters per second. But that doesn't really do you much damage to your shoulder. Whereas if the bullet was to hit you in that same shoulder, then it would actually do a lot of damage to that shoulder. It would dis it would rip that shoulder apart. So that's because the bullet has a lot more kinetic energy. Now, I hope you remember the kinetic energy equation. Kinetic energy is equal to a half times the mass times the velocity squared. So first of all, I'm going to work out the kinetic energy of the rifle as it re recoils back towards the rifleman. So a half times the mass, 4, times 1.9 squared. Go for the calculator. 0 0.5 times 4 times 1.9 squared, 7.22, 7.22 joules. Now that is not a large amount of energy and that is not likely to do you any serious damage. Now let's have a look at the other object in this situation and calculate the kinetic energy of the bullet. So that is a half times the mass 0 0.025 times the velocity 300 squared. Now I'll go for the calculator once more. 0 0.5 times 0 0.025 times 300 squared. Wow, 1,125 joules. A lot more kinetic energy and that is enough kinetic energy to do some damage to whatever target it is aimed at. It's always the energy which does the work. It's always energy which does any jobs that need done. 
and in this case the energy of the bullet is far far greater than the recoiling weapon and so it does more damage. Now if you found that video useful then please go ahead and click on this uh, subscribe button. If you think you know anyone else who would find this video useful then please go ahead and share with them as well.